And we all about smelling good, looking good, feeling soft, looking succulent, <laughs> all winter long. What up, gang? So I am back with my very first hygiene shopping routine of 2022, y'all. Not to mention it's actually the winter time, so it's a little bit different than the one that I gave y'all almost half a year ago. I think it was summertime vibes, and that video did so well. Y'all enjoyed it so much. I was like, I have to bring them with me this time around, especially because we're gonna start heading out, by the way. Bay is with me. Say hey, bang. Hi. It's so annoying. <laughs> anyway, as I was stating, it is winter time. It's cold out here in the Chicagoland area. Well, we're actually in the suburbs. We were just visiting my mom, and oftentimes, I like to come out to the suburbs to get my stuff because they just have more variety out here. Prices are better out here. A whole bunch of things. So, first place I just pulled up to is actually Super Target. So, I made it to the bath and body section. It has a whole section of Dr. Teal's. First of all, I'm today years old finding out that Dr. Tills has Focus, a body scrub. I'm gonna have to try that out. My mom put me on the Dr. Shields and we always would use like one of these and a lavender. I don't see a lavender, but they have a pink Himalayan mineral soak. What is this? A soaking solution with rosemary and mint. Ooh, glow and radiance. I need me some of that. Oh, a coconut oil, protect your skin. And it's winter time. I low-key need this too. I'm gonna get me some of that. Ooh, they also have a body scrub for this one too. Wow, let me find out. Dang, I may, I dang near wanna get the little trio. Might as well. I haven't seen like a Dr. Till section like this. I think I'm gonna put this one back. Yeah, I decided to get the pink Himalayan salt scrub, pink Himalayan foaming bath, and, oh wait, I didn't even get the pink Himalayan. I'm done with myself. I didn't even get the actual scrub, but I, I do want to work on glow and radiance. It looks like it has vitamin C in it, and then also coconut. Yeah, we don't go with this. We don't go with this. I actually lied, y'all. I'm taking back the glow and radiance. Something just don't sit right with me. I need a whole family. Plus, I was looking at like some of the um, benefits that it's saying for this one in particular. It eases aches and soreness from muscle pains, which I am right now because Mother Nature has come this week. Salt to replenish and recharge, which your girl for sure needs. And essential oils help provide relief from stress. Okay, y'all already know. So. This is a winner, and I'm gonna keep the coconut oil one. Oh, y'all, look what I just came across, bruh. I recently was watching some YouTube video um, about turmeric and how it helps with, can it focus? Come on now. How it helps with dark spots, hyperpigmentation. This is perfect. It's a freaking mass stick, y'all. I've never seen something like this before, and really, it's not trying to focus, but there we go, there we go, there we go. They also have this one right next to it, too. All over moisture stick for use under your eyes as a lip balm or dry spots. I actually might get both. Facial moisturizer, facial treatment. That's cool, okay. Yeah, definitely grabbing these. Cause low key, I have not been eating the best, so like I'm having a little hyperpigmentation dark spots from pimples that I've been popping lately. And y'all know I don't wear foundation and stuff like that, so I always try to make sure my skin stays top tier, and lately it's been, you know, plus the winter months have not been friendly to my skin either, so I'm really about to get on that in terms of making sure my face is together. Wait a minute, y'all. This is next level. This looked like if you recently watched my nighttime self-care hygiene routine, I have something like this minus the green loofah attached. Bruh, it's an exfoliating like scrubber. But this is the exfoliating side and this has a loofah attached to the, I think I'm grabbing this. This this is some next level stuff right here. Cause I want a little TLC to my skin a little bit. You know why wow, actually, yeah. This is it. Something about me that also never fails when I'm doing my little hygiene shopping routine is coming to the travel section. I'm telling y'all, it can be more beneficial than just traveling with like even, what did I just see? Right here, hand sanitizer, but it's Dove hand sanitizer, which is in a stripping, and I've been using this for a couple months now and love. This is also where I like to get my little hand lotion. They have a lot of options. I usually get some Vaseline, but they have Aquaphor up here. Oh, and some more Vaseline up here. What is this one? Gold Bond. They have a whole bunch of nice little lotions. Jergens. Oh, even some Suave right here. So I'm telling y'all, if y'all sleep on the travel section for everyday life, 
stop now stop today y'all so I'm in the lotion moisturizing aisle right and this is usually the uh, hand lotion I get that I was just telling y'all about and I'm looking at the other options and then I see this one right doesn't that look familiar to what I just saw on the travel yes it is now read what it says right here hand sanitizer lotion I didn't even realize it said that until I saw the bigger version this is new. This is low-key fire. I didn't even realize I grabbed it. I thought it was just regular lotion. Wow. Also a little pro tip for any of my ladies that are trying to like have your perfume last longer. This for Vaseline, this all over body balm jelly stick. I put this in like all my little areas that I want my perfume to like last. Honey, it be lasting. And it's so, let me set this down real quick so I can show y'all. So convenient. Cause you just screw it off and it's like a little ball. Yo, I'm telling you, very easy, very easy. I have like one in like a cocoa butter vibe, Vaseline vibe, and in that regular Vaseline vibe and I love them. So, check it out, it's at Target. That's the only place I've actually seen it is Target. Now I done pulled up to the feminine hygiene aisle, y'all. Stay away from Summer's Eve, by the way. If you don't know why, go ahead and Google it. Anyway. I am Team Honey Pot, which is actually black owned, by the way. And I love using both their oop, normal wipes and their sensitive wipes. So I use these for my sensitive areas, okay ladies? And then these are just nice to keep in your purse. Let's say I eat chips in the car in particular. Usually I'm eating flaming Hot type of chips. So my fingers are red by the time I'm done, but I have nowhere to like wipe it off with. Usually no napkins in the car. Even if I did, it's dry to don't get it off. These come in handy for stuff like that. So use these for like my hands or sometimes even at night for my face if I don't have anything else but I didn't wear makeup that way but just wanna like cleanse my face. I'll use the orange and then the blue is just for, oops, backwards. Blue is just for the kitty and the crack, okay? The last little place that I wanted to give a glance at before we left out of here, their little slippers, house slipper section. I would get these, honestly, if they didn't look very similar to the Savage X slippers that I recently got. I'll show y'all when I get home. These are super cute though. I'm feeling the colorway, but if you don't have any nice, cozy house slippers for the winter, Definitely check out Target. Their section is very cute. <laughs> Next up is Home Goods. I love me some Home Goods, y'all. They low key be having some self care finds in here, and I be shook every time. So let's see. Fingers crossed that we are able to find something today. Look what Bay and I just stumbled across, bruh. It's a freaking dumbbell water bottle. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. And I guess it can hold up to what, 22.2 liters of water. So how heavy, if it was full of water, how heavy do you think it could get? Yeah, like five pounds. Only five, you think? Water be getting heavy. Be, it's not that crazy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, wait, feel this though, because this is 10 pounds. Definitely wouldn't Yeah, it's it. not gonna get, yeah, you're right. It, yep, five pounds. Definitely <laughs> the that. thought is cute though, it's a cute thought. At this point, without fails, getting a candle at Home Goods is mandatory for me, so I decided on this one. It smells really good. Did you want to smell it? Thoughts? So-so. Look at seven. A seven? <laughs> so, I just wanna say, I'm not that impressed with what they got going on. I can tell they're like changing between seasons, so it's not it's not giving at Home Goods today. However, I just stumbled across this. I don't even know what it is, but I'm trying to figure out why it would be plastic, okay, and $300 for a swirl. Make it make sense. So we're en route to our next location, but we are stopping to get our car washed because it, it's a hot mess. It's been a hot mess for a while now. And Josh decided to get the highest level, which is the what, babe? The buddy bear. And I the better get bear. my buddy bear. <laughs> That's, I got the receipt right here. So I don't he know what talk about how he going. You know, at the beginning of the thing, how they know what to do with what car and what they need to do with what thing. Yeah, because it's saying? a lot of people in here. A lot of it things. is a lot of people. So I gotta come up with a, yeah, I gotta come up with a strategy how much buddy bear. You're ugly, bro. Buddy but it's bed. only right, right? This is a self-care hygiene, well it's a shopping, you know, haul, whatever, but this is all about self-care hygiene. So that goes all around, across the boards, car included, okay? Let me see what money for me to do this car first. All right, if I don't get this at minimum. Uh-huh, then you know they, yeah, yeah. they playing you. Is that neutral? Neutral. They, wait, how does he know? Oh, you he's know, scrubbing the back yeah, now. Yeah, he's scrubbing he's it. Scrubbing yeah, that I back. showed I flashed the back. Did you? I flashed the bunny bag. Okay. I've been watching you, 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 you
to Wally World. Walmart is actually like one of the main places, well, I would say top three. Top three places that I get a lot of my like self-care hygiene products from, especially the ones that keep me smelling good, looking good. I'm excited to show y'all. All right guys, so I am usually always Team Dove when it comes to my body wash. I wanted to actually go for their deep moisture. Usually they have it in this size, but as you can kind of tell from the situation here it's looking kind of skimp over here this is the one that i have as of right now i think no i have the pink one. Oh yes that's right there. that's the one that's the one that i have going on right now revives dewy supple skin i need something to kind of work with how dry as i keep saying how dry and cold the weather is so for me i think it's between this which pampers and softens skin or but it's this one right here pampering shea butter and vanilla oh it's new i love when i see the new symbol i'm gonna grab that still just just to try out both and also i usually like to grab multiple of these i always get them at walmart in the suburbs literally this is all they have left y'all this which to me in my opinion is the best smelling one by the way if you've never tried the dove body wash mousse sis try it today Thank me later tomorrow. Literally, this stuff smells so good. I have tried actually all of them because they have it in this coconut oil scent. They have the rose oil one and then they have like an argan oil one. Again, tried all three. This one is my absolute fave. So again, you can see it up close a little bit. I actually lied about this, y'all. I just smelt it and it's not, it's not giving what I like it to give. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this mini deep moisture bottle for now and get a bigger size when I hit a store next time because I really like this one in particular because it nourishes the driest of skin, which I'm telling y'all that's what I'm trying to do, which is why I wanted a big bottle, but they don't have it. So I'll settle for now, get a big one later. Don't judge me because I know y'all saw me just buy some Epsom salt from Target, but it says new, which makes me feel like I need to try this degree. The freaking deodorant now has an Epsom salt muscle soap. And me and Josh in particular, we be hitting the gym pretty often, um, especially as of this year. That was both on our like goal list to make sure that we work out consistently. This could really come in clutch. I'm gonna have to try this out and let y'all know how it goes. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab the body wash and soak as well. I just feel like these will pair together the best instead of me like mixing it with the Dr. Teals. So I should be good on getting bath anything for a while. <laughs> this is the crazy thing about going to different stores, y'all. Now, like I said, the Dr. Teals that we saw at that Target had a pretty expansive like wall of options. Now this was not at Target, however. A Dr. Till's bath tea. Fire, grabbing that. And Dr. Till's moisturizing body and bath. I feel like this would be nice. Do you put it in the bath? Add to bath to moisturize skin while you soak. Oh yes, yeah. see, this is what I be talking about, y'all. Depending on where you go, you will find different things. So always check out the same aisle, even if you're going to two different stores, looking at the same thing, always check out both locations one thing i'm not completely out of yet so i'm not gonna buy a new one is the dr bronner's unscented baby soap but for those who are new to my channel i have been riding with this product for almost three four years now maybe more because this is what i use on my lady parts and it keeps her so fresh and so clean clean i ain't never had a problem with her she's always held me down i am loyal to her because she is loyal to me if you've never tried it out and you're looking for a feminine wash to keep you clean down there Okay, try it out for sure. You won't regret it. And it's unscented baby soap. Too many people be DMing me like, I, girl, I tried the peppermint and blah, blah, blah. I didn't say peppermint. Definitely not peppermint. Unscented baby soap. You one more good look. Unscented, okay? Unscented baby soap. And for my OGs who don't know, I actually, last time I went hygiene shopping, picked up their soap bar as well. So they don't just have the liquid anymore. If you're not like a liquid person, they do have a bar of soap now as well. Check them out. Now, something I did not do with you guys last time that has a lot to do with hygiene and in particular, keeping my clothes smelling really good. When it comes to detergent and fabric softener and 
Hold that thought, we're really close. These freaking Downy Unstoppable Scent Boosters. I don't know if y'all have ever tried this, but if you have not, in particular this one, I haven't tried this this um fragrance yet. Lush, it actually smells, I said it smells, it sounds like it smells really good. But this I've gotten before, and I believe I've gotten this for us before, and it smells divine, y'all, divine. I think this one is my favorite though. We literally just ran out yesterday, and I want the bigger size, so I'm gonna grab this one. But this and fresh, you will not go wrong. You will smell the difference in your clothes and your wash. It's it's top tier, honestly. Matter of fact, I thought this was the biggest one they have. This is the biggest one they have. In comparison to these two, definitely getting a bigger one. Then this is the current um, fabric softener that we use. We have a little bit left. Well, a little bit more than a little bit left. So I'm not gonna buy a new one, but this is what we usually pair it with in terms of fabric softener. As for detergent, Mama has instilled Arm and Hammer in me. Every once in a while we'll play with Gain or Ty, but I always find myself coming back to Arm and Hammer. In particular, what smell is this? The Fresh Burst Scent, top tier. I hope y'all are enjoying the video thus far because I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I think something's going on or just like this is not the best time to be going shopping because everywhere, self-care aisles and food aisles, even drink aisles, it's looking scarce in here, people. Like, this is dang near what the beauty house is looking like. Y'all saw what the dove section looked like? I'm confused. You know what? I think I'm changing my mind on these dove body washes, especially this one, because I'm going to just end up going to one of the stores closer to our house and picking up the big one. So I just feel like, fingers crossed, I can convince Josh to let me go to Target close to our house and just pick up a bigger bottle. Cause like really what it what is the point honestly genuinely and then there's some other stuff that um hygiene wise hygiene hygiene wise that i wanted to show you guys but they don't have it here right now thankfully i have a little bit left at home so i can i have a couple things at home that i want to just tease to y'all that um are kind of a part of like my hygiene shopping routine typically but i didn't need to get it because i already have it so yeah i'll give y'all a little bit of tea when i get home but for now i think these are wrapped i'm taking them back Y'all, I made it to Target. I got beta stop because this was this was important. Okay, we have to make sure this is a quality hygiene shopping uh, vlog. Anyway, what else didn't I get to show you guys that I really? Oh, okay, this is one thing. So when it comes to hygiene. I love the Charmin wet wipes. I keep one by both our guest washroom toilet and our main washroom toilet, and they are flushable. Check them out if you have not tried them already. Also, last thing in terms of laundry, this has been doing wonders for our color laundry in particular. It helps with stains and stuff on your clothes, so we always put some of this in every wash load. Then I absolutely cannot leave you guys hanging in terms of the oral hygiene, okay? gots to get it going now i do still stand by these floss stick prices okay these target floss stick prices they be unacceptable with these prices so as i stated in the last hygiene shopping haul and i am stating now go to dollar tree second of all i actually recently gave crest a try this i think it's actually the crest mouthwash i've been using for the last month or so eh, it's okay usually i'm always team listerine where's the one i think i used the cool mint usually i'm always team listerine i decided to switch it up and I'm switching back so that should tell you guys how I felt about that experience definitely a team Listerine from now on I will be loyal to it because it is loyal to me then this is the toothpaste that I've currently been using the Colgate optic white with charcoal another product I am very loyal to is the dove zero percent aluminum deodorant I've tried a couple of different aluminum free deodorants and this is the one that treats my skin the absolute best I think I actually tried native before and it ended up breaking me out so I stopped using that went back to this and then I recently started giving um, the secret aluminum free deodorant a try it's okay I was really into the fact that it said 48 hour odor protection but I don't know my armpits are starting to feel a little bit funny with that so I'm going back to the Dove zero percent because it was loyal to me and I will be loyal to it as suspected they have my Dove deep moisture in the size that I wanted oh they have a little bit more selection here but it's a little dry here too y'all I'm not understanding well maybe actually that's just it it's literally and figuratively dry season <laughs> now I do have this Dove foaming bath salt at home and I'm actually almost out of it I actually really enjoy it. it smells really really good 
actually let me put this back though because I done bought how many Epsom salts and stuff but if you haven't tried it I highly recommend it it smells so good it definitely elevates your whole bath experience so if you have not tried it yet definitely try it out see this is what I'm talking about ooh, 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 ooh. this is what I'm talking about though y'all they did not have no honey pot bath bomb at the last time that I was at I'm definitely gonna have to try this all right, y'all, so we just made it home. And like I said at the store, I just wanna, these are my receipts now that I'm giving y'all. I told y'all I keep a Charmin in the guest washroom. Hold that thought. And one in our main washroom. I play no games. I also recently picked up these witch hazel whites off of Amazon, which are fire, in particular to keep that booty crack clean. Okay, sis. More videos coming soon on that. Um, I also, though, recently picked up these Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Refreshingly Clean Cleansing Cloths. Now this I'm using on my face. That's what it was saying in particular. Whew, shouldn't have ran across the apartment like that. Tone and purify skin, removing dirt, oil, and makeup without leaving sticky residue or over drying. So in particular on my days where I'm not really wearing makeup like that, but I just wanna like make sure my face is cleansed for the night or whatever, I go ahead and use this. Then, moving on, I told y'all I'm over it. I had to finish it, cause you know, mama ain't raised no child that did not finish what was bought. So I'ma finish it, but like I said, I'm now back loyal to Listerine. It won't happen again. I told y'all I used the Colgate Op Optic White toothpaste, so that's right there. Then this, actually, I should have showed you guys at the store and I forgot. I love this so much. I use it at the end of my like oral hygiene routine. Matter of fact, Matter of fact, if you watch my, was it in my morning routine? I don't remember, but it for sure was in my nighttime routine. So if you have not watched my nighttime routine, go ahead and watch it so you can see how I incorporate this into my self-care hygiene routine. Oh, I told y'all also about this. Now this is the cocoa butter. It actually is a shimmer stick. I showed you guys at the store, they had just kind of like the regular roller uh, stick. So cocoa butter and the roller. This is also something I've been using in particular. I don't think I mentioned to y'all, but I know I've mentioned in some of my more recent videos. Uh, my skin broke out really bad when I was trying out these new self-care hygiene products. So I have been trying to like nurse it back to life. And mama's old school remedy, them cocoa butter sticks. I know y'all know about the cocoa butter sticks. I tried to remember to put this on at night on like my scars. It's actually healing. It was, it was bad, y'all. It was bad. I forgot to put back in my nose ring. It kept on falling out in my mask at the store. Yeah, so. Cocoa butter stick, got that by my side. That's definitely another winter staple. Oh, what else? Part of my receipts that I told y'all about that I have going on already at home. My little self-care tower shelf. Um, now down here, I told y'all about that dove. Now mine is like more than halfway gone. This stuff smells so good in the bath. Another receipt, I told y'all I have that Dr. Bronner soap. I personally haven't used it yet. I'm waiting until my liquid runs out, um, but I'm excited about that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I was gonna show or share with y'all. This actually too, they have similar to the, um, what is that? The bath salts, the Dove bath salts I just showed you guys. They also have bubble bath that comes with it. Um, or doesn't come with it, but you can buy it separately. So I got that. I actually got two rounds of that. And oh, here's the other roller stick I was telling y'all about. Another receipt also and my grab and go shelf. I keep those little honey pot uh, towelettes. These are the sensitive wipes I was telling y'all about. Cause I like when I'm about to like just head out to just grab them, put it in my purse. Cause you never know when you might have to use the washroom or like I said, mother nature is going on for a girl right now. So like keeping those on me are crucial for me to feel like I'm maintaining my freshness throughout the day, you know? That is actually all I have for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. My very first 2022 hygiene shopping haul. Let me know if you guys would like me to keep these coming because uh, if you guys have not noticed, and let me set you down. Ow, let's just down. If y'all haven't noticed, this year is going to be all about self-care, hygiene, how to feel good about ourselves, very womanly, you know, stepping into that womanhood intentionally, being more intentional about the womanhood as well. So I'm super excited to take y'all through this process with me. Um, oh, actually, one more thing too, I just realized looking at my 
shower. Y'all know I still ride with this product, so don't get it confused. The Fresh Brown Sugar Polish. If you have not tried it, sis, try it. You can watch both my morning routine and night routine and see this is a staple for me. And I love what it does for my body, like how it makes me feel, all that stuff. However, I know for a fact that people make DIY brown sugar scrubs that aren't that difficult to make. So I kind of want to experiment. Once I run out of this one, because I had bought two, so this is the second one that I'm on, like two together, because they were sold out for a really, really long time, kind of around the summertime, spring. But yeah, after I run out of this one, I'm going to try to make one myself, a brown sugar body polish, and we'll see how it goes. Y'all let me know if y'all want the tea on how it went, or if y'all want me to take you through the process with me. Yeah, just comment below any ideas that you have. Oh, shoot. One last thing, another receipt. I told y'all this is my fave of theirs, the Coconut Oil Dub Mousse. Try it, I ain't playing. And then second, another new thing though that ooh, I did not mention when I was out and about at the store that I've been using lately during my winter type of routine, this Olay Nighttime Rinse Off Body Conditioner. It's pretty solid. I actually mix it, well I'm not even gonna tell y'all, watch my nighttime routine. If you watched it, then you already know what I mixed it with. If you didn't, go check it out. Oh gosh, I'm so sick of myself. The other last receipt, I told y'all I have a decent amount left so I didn't want to buy a completely new one, but that Dr. Bronner's baby soap, it always stays on hand, okay? And then this is pretty much empty, which is why I bought the new one today. But yeah, guys, that is all I have for y'all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely will be having more self-care hygiene products videos coming for you guys. I'm just trying to think of like different ways to show y'all because not too long ago I ordered a whole bunch of like Sephora products that are for self-care in particular like my winter vibe and I'm really excited to see how those play out for me so I can like show you guys those also I want to actually like show y'all how I do my like extra AF bath routine um I have a whole bunch of ideas for you guys I'm just wondering are y'all ready for them are y'all excited for them do y'all want them in the first place so comment below, let me know. And that is all I have for you guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you are new. Cause Beauty Gang is clearly lit. And we all about smelling good, looking good, feeling soft, looking succulent <laughs> all winter long. <laughs> but anyway, that is all I have for y'all. And until next time guys, bye.